pressurised discharge, uh, we would have some suction hoses or discharge hoses normally that we would fit onto this valve because this is the loading and unloading valve. So I'm just going to take the cap off and just chuck that or tuck that nicely around the back there. So if there was product in the machine, that's the thing, that's right, that one. if there was product in the machine, simply by opening this valve, anything that was in the tank would come out. We know there's nothing in the tank because we've had the door open. So if we open that valve, we might just have a little bit of residual that's trapped in the ball. No, there's nothing there. Okay, so we're going to use this then and explain how a pressurised discharge works. So on the odd occasion that you might want to discharge the product that's in the back of the tanker, under pressure you would screw your suction hose discharge hose onto that fitting if it was a power fitting it'd be on the lever you might then send the end of the hose down into a catchment tank or a pit or a chamber whatever you're emptying to um, you can you can do it just simply by opening the valve and letting it run out but it's likely to block up so we want to pressurize the load we have to go through the correct sequence so we've got the cap off at the moment the valve shut we need to make sure that the boom valve is closed. So unfortunately, we've got to go back down the side, close the boom valve. Okay, because remember, if you forget to shut the boom valve and you've got a load in the back, as soon as you change it onto pressure, everything that's in the back will come out through the boom. It's very messy. Right, so we're gonna start the back pump up again. Okay, straight away, no problem, let it get up to speed. And you'll notice that it starts to move to vacuum straight away on this gauge, change it to pressure, and it's going to go the other way. So we're now building up pressure inside the tank. What you've got to be very careful of is if you do have discharge hoses on here, that you've secured the end of the hose. So if you don't, it will whip, and that's going to cause a problem. So we've got a little bit of pressure on there now. I'm going to stand to the side and gently open the valve. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit noisy. You can see the pressure on there. So that's how you would empty under pressure. Okay, I haven't opened that valve fully. Okay, but you can get the idea. Remember, never stop the vacuum pump under pressure. So we change it back to vacuum. We let the needle get down to zero and then we can stop the pump. Okay. Did it, didn't it? Check that one's on there. Yeah, it yeah. will be. It's pretty, pretty certain it will be. There. 